what's up guys happy saturday to you and i apologize but it has been a very very long week and i barely even had time to do this but uh i'm gonna knock out all these reviews today for you in preparation for my it video that i mentioned in my review for uh oh, uh angela's fallen but uh yeah i'm gonna talk about uh Ready or not first. So let's get into this. Ready or Not is a new horror comedy about a new bride who marries into this wealthy family who actually has like a gaming side to them. And, uh, Every person that marries into this family, they have to play a certain game with the family to get accepted into the family. Like it all starts off with normal games like card games like blackjack, craps, whatever, poker. But she picks out hide and seek. This movie has a great, great premise because it's something different but it's almost very similar to your next which came out in 2011 that kind of is the same story but in that uh, the family was being hunted by a couple of assailants but most of them turn out to be like the family of the family being hunted you know what I mean it's kind of like a, an in-family plot. But anyway, this is about Ready or Not. And, uh, yeah. It's a game of cat and mouse between this bride and her new family. They all turn out to be, like, uh, hunters. And they want to try and kill her before sunrise. <laughs> I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people have already seen this, but you probably can predict this movie. It gets insane in the last 20 or so minutes, and it has to be like one of the most uh, baffling endings I've ever seen in any horror movies in probably the past, God, probably since Hereditary or like Midsummer. but I really enjoyed this ending. It was messed up, man. <laughs> I mean, I predicted it, but essentially, they all turn out to be like Satanists, and if they can't perform this ritual to this new girl, they'll disintegrate into nothingness, and of course they fail, and that's a very, very gory ending, and that's a great payoff to an awesome horror flick. <laughs> there are some very, very good uh, players in this too. You have Adam Brody of OC fame, and you got uh, the niece of Hugo Weaving, Samara Weaving, who people think look like Margot Robbie. But like I said, that's Hugo Weaving's uh, niece. She was probably the best part of this entire movie besides the whole premise, and yeah, I just overly enjoyed this movie, and it's a pretty good uh, cat and mouse horror flick, go see, ready or not, if you haven't already, and my final grade for ready or not, guys, I gave this four stars which is a B, and it's a pretty high grade for this kind of movie because we've seen these movies quite a lot where it has, like, slasher elements to it and a murder mystery vibe to it. And this ending is just very baffling to me, and I really enjoyed this ending. This movie's a blast. I can't wait until it comes out and own it. And that's my review for... Ready or not, this has been Mike Pruitt, the real hero. 
I'm off to save the day from bad criticism and people who don't enjoy good movies. Follow me on Stardust. Follow me on Facebook. You can even friend me. I don't even care. <laughs> you can even follow me on Instagram. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll knock out these other two reviews back to back then have them edited before Tuesday. But the next movie I want to talk about for you guys is arguably one of my all-time favorite movies this year. And that movie is Blinded by the Light. Stay mm -hmm. tuned. I'm going to film that video here in a second. I'm going to wrap up this video and go on to the next. I'll see you guys in a minute for Blinded by the Light.